Hello, welcome to Don's Modeling Bench. Um, I was just uh, using my airbrush the other night to spray, spray some minis. And um, well, it wasn't quite spraying right, so I got to looking at it and I noticed that the nozzle had a hairline crack in it. So I went to uh, Hobby Lobby today and picked up a new... a new nozzle for it and uh, I was talking to some of the guys on the discord channel for uh, Hobby Link International great site by the way if you haven't haven't ever stopped by there uh, you really should great bunch of guys uh, they're really fun to talk to really knowledgeable bunch of guys too but anyway uh, I was talking to them and uh, I asked uh, do they think if anybody would care to see a video on how to change this little nozzle out here? So uh, they said, yeah, so here I am. Uh, this is my Iowata for Neo for Iowata airbrush. Uh, I've had it for a while. Use it for base coating, primer, clear coat, stuff like that. I uh, have a two actually sotars that i use for detail painting but this is my general purpose brush here that i use for most everything else um but anyway let's get started first off let's scoot this up a little bit i i have this little i bought this little kit you know that has everything in it you need for cleaning airbrush and everything used everything up a long time ago and uh just build it back up with stuff that I use for cleaning my airbrush for one thing these little things right here are incredible for cleaning your airbrush um, they work really good you can get down inside there the the blue ones are tiny you can almost get inside the nozzle with these things they're so small and then these green ones here are just a bit bigger uh, I'm almost out of them. This is the only one I got left. Uh, it also has this little tool to uh, remove the nozzle from the airbrush. Right there. And uh, I use this. Uh, actual beeswax works the best. But this... Burks Bees Bee Wax Lip Balm works good for a sealant also. Um, and pipe cleaners. I use pipe cleaners to clean inside the, the airbrush. Um, and this little thing came in the kit really handy. It's a little magnifying glass with a light on it. You can hold your needle behind it and see if it's bent that's how i noticed the nozzle was cracked i was using this to look at the nozzle and uh, i could see the crack in it but anyway let's get on with this first thing you do is take this little nozzle cap off right here so you can see it Take this little nozzle cap off right here. Put that aside. I, I actually take that off when I'm spraying. I actually take that off when I'm spraying most of the time. Um, unscrew the back. Loosen up the chuck nut, pull your needle out, that's the needle, I got it to focus on it earlier but I can't seem to get it to do it now, but that's the needle, there we go, right there, 
perfect. Isn't it cool that a phone camera can focus on the point of an airbrush needle? Anyway, take the needle out. Rem I'm going to take this trigger out before it falls out. Remove this little not, uh, air cap right here. Look on there a little tight. Remove that. Set that aside. Then take this little nozzle tool and you'll notice how it's notched. Well, I, I don't know if I can get it to focus or not, but the nozzle actually has little notches on it on the side. Let me have my hand up for this. There's little notches right there. You can see it. It's a little notch there. And one on that side. And this just sits on there. You turn it and then it slides on to those little notches. And then you just unscrew the nozzle. Be very careful you don't drop this thing. Because they are absolutely tiny. Crazy tiny. This is the nozzle. Tiny. But let me get the new nozzle out. And what I like to do is take some of this beeswax right here and just very carefully put the little on the threads. I'm sorry. Out of camera there, guys. A little bit on the threads. Make sure you don't get it inside the nozzle. Just on the threads. Screw that back into here. There we go. Get it screwed down. And then put the nozzle tool back on it. And just give it one little. You can feel it get tight. It doesn't have to be really, really tight. Just enough to compress that little rubber washer that's on there. And you're good to go. Then. Replace the needle. Be very careful with the point. When you're putting it in. Replace the needle. Push it down. Until you feel it stop. No further. Don't keep pushing. Don't jam it in there. Just push it down till you feel it stop. Oh, never mind. I screwed up, guys. I screwed up. The trigger. I didn't put the trigger back in. You'll notice this trigger has two really flat sides. One a little bit less flat and one side that's rounded. The rounded side goes to the front. You just pull this little piece back right here. Can you see? You can't see that because my fat hand is in the way. But see this little piece right here? See that? Use the little ball on the end of the trigger to pull that back and set the trigger down in there. You'll feel the trigger when it sits down on the air valve and then you can push it. See the, the trigger move up and down? Then, now we can put the needle back in. Very carefully, straight in, and just push it down until it stops. Once it stops, tighten the nut back down. Pull the trigger back so that the needle is retracted into there. Hold it there. And then screw the air cap back on. 
let's put a little beeswax on that too that will prevent that bubbling that sometimes happens when air is leaking out around there just a little bit doesn't take much if you get any on the end like I did just wipe it off there we go that wipes off real good screw the air cap back on remember pull the trigger so the needle is retracted so you don't damage it screw the air cap back on just finger tight good enough then you can replace the little needle protector cap here put that on screw it down finger tight again that's all you need and then we can replace this put it down on there turn it and there we go back together working let's give it a little test let me hook up my air hose here Move all this stuff out of the way. I'm just going to put a little water in it here. And we'll just give it a little spray tape. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but we'll give it a try. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's hold this up here nice and black and then spray this across in front of it. Let me pull a little bit of that out. And I can tip it over to get it into the camera and spray this across in front of this. You might be able to see if I could just or camera cooperate there we go perfect and that's it we have a perfect spray pattern coming out of there see that perfect and that's it airbrush has been rescued, ready to go again. Sorry if that compressor was too mild, it's just the way it is. But uh, that's it. That's all there is to, to changing the needle out on one of these little Neos here. Um very simple procedure some airbrushes like my silk cars if i can get this apart with my fingers yes i can on the sotar Get the needle out on the sotar the nozzle itself doesn't screw in it just sits there can you see that and it's even tinier even tinier oh if i can get in front of the camera There it is. It is even tinier than the needle on the Neo. But those, these just sit.
sits in there, they don't screw in. You just place the nozzle in there like that. Then carefully place that down over it. Make sure it's straight. And then screw it back on. Hand tight. Then you just replace your needle. Back on. Tighten the chuck. And that's it. But. Well. I guess that's it. That's. All I was going to do, I needed to change it out anyway, figured, why not make a video? Well, y'all have a good night, come back again, see my next video, have a good one.